guys welcome back to our channel today we're going to be on the lighter side of things we're going to be making a flavorful egg white omelet with a side of turkey bacon and some great tomatoes so let's get started mom is preparing her vegetables she's just wiping them down a little bit with a damp paper towel and she's taking the stems off you don't have to if you don't want to but we also have a more detailed explanation on cleaning mushrooms and different ways to do it in our fried chicken video so you can go check that video out but um, we're gonna be, be preparing some spinach some green onions um, we're gonna have turkey bacon on the side of our omelet and we're also gonna have some grape tomatoes and we're gonna use some shredded cheddar cheese for the inside of the omelet. And to uh, put a little bit on top. Oh yeah, for a little bit of garnish or whatever. Now can we speak about turkey bacon for a minute? Yes. Now, turkey bacon is something that everyone does not enjoy. I know for one person that comes to mind is my niece, Tracy. Hey, Tracy Guan. That girl will not <laughs> agree to eat turkey bacon for anything. I've even tried, okay, you know, trying to convince her that, okay, if you can make it a certain way, she's like, I don't care about that. I'm not eating it. <laughs> so, it may be other people, I'm sure there's other people out there who share that same feeling. So, um, we'll link the, the kind of turkey bacon we use, though, in the description below, just in case you want to try it. Because it is good for those people who are willing to try it. And I cook it in the microwave for two minutes and 15 seconds if it's thick. And then I'll make it in the air fryer for eight minutes, eight to nine minutes, depending on the thickness. And if I have a lot to do, you know, I'll cook it quicker in the microwave. But anyway, so go ahead. And that's for two slices of bacon, too. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if we mentioned that. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, we're just going to cut up our vegetables. And while we do that, we're just going to chat with you guys for a little bit about how we started making these omelets and everything. Okay, yeah, that's right. Now, so omelets came about um egg white omelets came about because my husband needed to cut back on his cholesterol intake so i was trying to figure out what kind of breakfast could i make for him that's healthy and that still has good flavor and that we could all eat mm -hmm. so um egg whites seem to be a great choice the omelets seem to work out well and you, there's lots of different vegetables that you can put in your omelets we love the green onions Green onions, it's another thing. My husband doesn't like raw onions. So, green onions are a more mild, a milder flavor. So, those work good in the omelet. He loves cheese and, and spinach. All of these ingredients we all love. So, that works really well in the omelet. And then I can kind of cook these same vegetables for a larger group of people. So, let's say we're having guests over. I know recently my son and daughter-in-law were in town. And I was expecting them over for breakfast, so I made a large batch of the vegetables already pre-cooked. And then, um, as you know, we all wanted to eat or whatever, I was just making them, preparing to make them individually. Mm -hmm. So, um, and another thing you can do is like, um, and you just talking about a, a breakfast yeah, bar. Yeah, like an omelet bar, you can have all of your fillings or whatever you want to put in, put in them, lay it out on your counter and then whoever wants an omelet be like I want this this and this in my omelet and then you can chop it up and put it in your omelet that way you won't waste food and they won't have to pick out stuff they don't like because I don't like mushrooms but I'll eat it in this omelet because it's just that good but <laughs> <laughs> but you know there's picky eaters so right that is a great way you can have the spinach sitting here and then the mushrooms and the green onions or even the other kind of onions mm -hmm. if you like so yeah that works out good we saute it up really quick it doesn't take long at all you can season it one person may want salt one person may want just pepper that works out really good so yeah it's really um easy to do i love this recipe and then um with the egg whites yeah you can use like we use the carton you know of the already made egg whites i guess mm -hmm. because we eat them so often so it just became like a 
It's a staple. Yeah, basically. <laughs> in, our, in our refrigerator. Much easier to do than just having to separate eggs every every time you want to make an omelet. And then you have the yolks that are just kind of chilling there. It's like, what am I doing with these yolks? You know what I mean? I don't like to, to throw food out or waste it. So it was just easier this way and quicker to just um, buy the already prepared um, egg whites mm-hmm. in the car. So now if you're going to use the egg yolks for something else, that would be great. Go ahead and do it that way. Oh yeah, because some recipes call for egg yolks. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So I tend to do that. If I'm going to make um, one ingredient, an ingredient that I need for another recipe, I tend to try and make those at the same time. So I can go ahead and use the yolks for this and the just the whites for this or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that works out. So after you saute all your vegetables out, that was good. you're just about done. It's really easy. So then at this point, you just go ahead and get your egg whites in your skillet with a little bit of um, olive oil and butter or whatever you choose. I just like to use that mixture. And you get them in there and you let them sit. You don't move it around. You just want it to get there and, and um, make it easier for you to move it around and everything once it sets. I don't know if you guys noticed that we haven't been really saying measurements because we, we don't really measure. <laughs> no, not for this. <clears throat> I'll right. just go handful per person or something right. like that, yeah. depending on what you want to use. And just get everything in here, your cheese. And at this point, if you use sliced cheese, that's where I put my sliced cheese, because that's what I prefer. Mm-hmm. Or your shredded, or your different kinds of cheese, if someone else wants something different. This is where you would do that, and put your seasonings in there, or whatever else you want. And that's an, another cool thing about omelets, you could put as much in there as you want, or mm-hmm. as little as you want. Exactly. <laughs> So, and that's about it. We're gonna get the cheese in here, and then you, after it's done, you can put your cheese on top. You can put it on the, um, let it sit on the broiler for like a few seconds, not too long, just to melt your cheese, or in the microwave, whatever you wanna do. Mm-hmm. And then we put a little bit of parsley on top for some garnish as well. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, to make this, it look pretty. This cheese in here will melt when you close it, but sometimes if you want it on the top, if you don't wanna wait, you can just heat it up really quick to melt the top, so. Right. Alrighty, that's it. And close this up, and we are done with this omelet. Let us know in the comments what other uh, ingredients you might put in your omelet. Yeah, the, I'll, we're always open to more ideas. Of course, we always say that because it's true. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, just get this plated up. All right, guys, let us. I mean, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yes, please do. <laughs> and don't forget to click the notification bell as well, so you know when we post your next video. Alrighty, guys, we will see you on the next video.